mazao ya bustani leo ndo kahawa mm -hmm. and i have coffee here kenya's mm -hmm. coffee smells Nelly. so good tunaita kunusa kahawa right. nothing like it <laughs> nothing like it <laughs> now we hit the road we went all the way to embu county where we met a farmer who has vast knowledge when it comes to coffee mm -hmm. now i know you've had a lot of riri 11 sl 38, SL 34, SL 28, yes. Batian, all that. You'll be finding out so much about it in our gold feature. But first, let's see what people in the streets had to say about Kenya's coffee. Take a look. Sai, kahawa pesa imeenda chini, but kitambo ilikuwa inanunuliwa vizuri. Adu wazazi wetu, tulikuwa tunafraia, juu hiyo kahawa ndiye metufanya si tusome. Mimi, nikiataka serikali tusaidie, itopatie pesa, ili tufanye na kahawa vizuri na tuendele mbele afadhali nikuje kibarua ili na kujaga huku mimi na kujaga kibarua huku hiyo ndio nafanyanga na kahawa inakuwa na tabu sana na sida kabisa eh. na kahawa si wafichi hakuna haja ya haja kuongelea juu ya kahawa vile nalimwa kwa shamba watu waongelee juu ya soko ya kahawa shida iko hapo Kenya's gold. Uh -huh. Oh, Kalipu, uko kwa parapara. Karipu, karipu kwangu kuna geti ya mapati. Inkiya, karipu sana. I'm good. Thank you so much for having us today. We're so happy to be here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Karipu sana. Thank you. Karipu. How are you? I'm fine. Sasa leo tumekuja kujifundisha kila kitu kuhusiana na seedlings za kahawa. Karipu sana, karipu nyumbani. Tayari kunifundisha? Niko tayari kabisa kabisa. Mimi nafanya kasi ya kukucha miche seedlings, all types of fruit seedlings. Nilianza kufanya kasi ya COVID seedlings in the year 2018 na chenye kinilipereka ni hiyo time nilienda kutafuta kawa yangu ya kupanda ikakosa, nikasurura sana, nikaona na hini mbiyasara msuri na wensa hanza. Hapa in the COVID seed bend ni ile michi, miche tukitoka, tukitoa miche kwa kambuni tunaweka hapa tunangonja si germinate ndio tu transplant kwa makaratasi right. so yeah. tunanunua tuna begu kama hizi tunanunua begu kama kama hizi yeah hizi ndo mnanunua kwa kampuni kwa kampuni eh tunanunua mnanunua kama zina munozi waje kilo mnanunua pesa ngapi eh tunanunua na kilo na kofi varieties kila variety iko na bei yake ni variety gani uko nayo hapa tuko na S028 tuko na S034 tuko na Royal Grafted na tunakuanga na Batian sindi beti tunayatayarisha venye umeona tumeweka hisi mabao tunaweka uh, normal sand chini juu tunaweka sand ile sand ya kujenga tunaweka rea ya kitu 2 inches eh? sand. Alafu tunatengeneza strain trains hivi. Alafu hizi mbegu tunakuja tukisipanga. Ukipanga hivyo unaona haitaenda chini sana ndio mm. iweze kujaminate. Right. Yeah. Kabla hata tuendelee kwa nini aswa tunatumia kwa uh. sana? Eh, mchanga tunatumia wakati wa sababu ya wakati wa transplanting kungoa mbegu kungoa hivi kama iko kwa mchanga ni rahisi kushinda ikiwa kwa the normal soil. Unajua lazima tunyunyisie maji. Sasa saa hii hata isi tukivanya transplant lazima tunyunyisie maji. Ndio hiyo mchanga at least iwe rahisi kiasi. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo tukinyunyisia maji hivyo hata ukiambiwa ungoe a badge of them like this one. Sinangoka rahisi. Ukimaliza unafunika na mchanga tena? Nafunika na kama mchanga kidogo tu kadea kidogo ndio mbegu tuseme kama ni mbegu kama kama ni hizi mbegu setu eh. 
ni kama mbegu kama hisi eh tunanyunyia kama tu kiasi tu hivyo hiyo mbegu tu hiyo imekaliwa kidogo sana ndio kijaminiti kianza kutoka hivi isishindwe kutoka sababu imeraliwa na mchanga mingi hmm. ya yeah. sasa tukimaliza tumefunika mchanga hmm. wetu tumetengeneza sipi yetu kuna sasa hii Eh. <laughs> Pipes ni za kushikiria hii karatasi ikae kama kan green house ya, ya pekee. Na tukifunika. Eh. Cha muhimu ni nini kufunika? Cha muhimu ni mocha. Ya, yeah, ndio sasa US ile maji inaenda juu ya karatasi inaendelea inarudi chini. Every week una, unafungua karatasi tunaweka maji once per week. Tunangoja hizo sinti sinjaminate for six weeks. Tukifunga karatasi kabisa kabisa kuna presi hewa inaingiria ama maji mengine isipokuwa yenye umeweka. Harabu tunangonja kitu two weeks tena ndio iweke iweke matawi mawili kama hii. Mm -hmm. e, iweke matawi mawili kama hiyo. Ya. Yeah. Lakini eh. sasa ikianza kujaminate kitu ya kwanza utaona ni nini? Kitu ya kwanza itakuwa imetoa begu hivi. Itakuwa mbegu zenye zilikuwa chini itatoa ka kitu inavanya hivi. Mbegu yote itakuwa ina ka kitu inavanya. Hii hii nini? Hii stem itakuwa imekaa hivyo. Oh. Ya, yeah, sababu it, itaenda isimame. Ukisha panda, you take care of a seed bed, you water it, you cover it. After six to eight weeks, we will be ready with our germination. Unakikisha kwamba una matawi mbili, then the next step will be transplant. Hapa ndiyo tunavanyia transplant. Tumechanganya red soil na mbolea ya busi. Unajua tunavanya organic na mchanga kadogo, kamchanga kadogo. Ndiyo tuchukinyusia manji wakati wanjua, manji inaenda mbaka chini. Alafu tukimadisa, tunakunja tunaweka makaratasi tunapanga alafu tunanyunyishia maji tunanyunyishia maji hiyo ni kabla uanze kufanya transplant ya unachukua kamuti ama unachukua kidole yako mhm uh -huh. kidole ama kamuti unavanya kashimbo hivi uh -huh. uangalie miche isiwe imejikuja uh -huh. una transplant hivyo sasa unaendelea unaendelea. Hiyo shimo yako inafaa kwa deep kiasi gani? Miche unaangalia miche yako. Mm. Eh hata miche kama unaona unatoa toa tu kama kiasi. Mm -hmm. Eh unapanda. Ukivanya transplant yetu mm -hmm. unaweka maji siku tatu sikifuatana. Ndio kama leo tumaliza leo tuweke maji. Tuweke maji kesho. jioni ya leo. Jioni ya kesho tuweke. Siku hiyo ingine tuweke tuweke siku tatu turuke siku mbili tuweke tena siku tatu mpaka ishike tukimaliza kuweka utaendelea ku maintain mume wako after one month kuweka utaanza kunyunyisia kavori ya kidogo mhm aya kuna kakopa once in a month foria unaweza weka after for seven days unanyunyisia kafori alafu kuna hii ndawa ingine ya nini ya wadudu you at una una weka kila mwezi one day Red Hat Kenya's Gold, we promise you that we are going to literally get our hands dirty, as you can see. Now, we came to this side of transplant with our seedlings looking like this. This was after six to eight weeks in the nursery. Then what happened thereafter? We did the transplant, okay? So this was the before and this is the after. Now we give it seven months, we take care of it, we put our manure, we put our shade net, we take absolute proper maintenance of our seedlings and in seven months, our SL28, our SL34 will be ready to go to the farm. I'm very sure you're very curious to see what is the outlook after seven months. Jamani mimi star watch hanging 20, ni wanashe what you will get after seven months. Come on, let's go. So hapa 
ni after seven months tulitoka pale kwa transplant hivi ndio inakaa yeah hmm. yeah sasa kuna ule mtu ambaye anaweza kuja kununua kama iko hivi ama kuna mtu anataka hiyo iko hivyo eh kiuza kama iko hivi mnauza mnauza kama bei bei yenu kaje tunauza na bei ya 40 pa pa stem hmm. stem moja kama step moja kama hiyo hiyo ni 40 hiyo ni 40 na ni grafted eh? ni SR28 ama SR34 tuko kwa shamba ya Royal Grafted Coffee tunataka kutoa scion sa grafting ya na scion hizo hizi Tutaanza na kutayarisha karatasi ya kufunga. Okay. Yeah. Kulingana na stem si chenye una. Unatengeneza. Harafu tunaikata, tunaikata. Hivyo. Tunakata hapa katikati. Kwenye tutaweka hii stem ya roilo. Kwenye tutaweka hizi scion za roilo. Tutachukua scion yako. Utaitayarisha hivyo. Utaitayarisha hivyo. Sayoni yako itarisa vizuri hapa iwe sharp hapa ndio ivit hapa kwenye ulikata kwenye ulikata hivyo harafu chukue karatasi yako ufunge kabisa uifunge kabisa 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 kapsa ndio isiingie maji mpaka hiyo kidonda ipone mpaka hiyo kidonda ipone kapsa taifunga hivyo kapsa hivyo stem yako itakuwa namna hiyo tukimaliza kufunga hii stem na hii karatasi tutapeleka kwa tumanuare greenhouse eh? alafu tunangoja six weeks kidonda ipone kabisa na tukiweka tutanyunyizia maji na ngarane alafu tunavunika na karatasi alafu kutoka hapo tutatoa hiyo muti kwa grafting site tuweke hinje kwa shindinet moja ikae kwa one month alafu tuantepu hii karatasi kidonda itakuwa imepona kabisa itakuwa already really even grafted na itakuwa ready to plant or ready to sell And just like that I have become a coffee farmer thanks to Margaret right here at Embu County. I'll definitely be planting this and giving you feedback after three years. Now we have come to the end of this fantastic feature and I hope you back at home learn so much when it comes to coffee seedlings. So the next time utajipata pale kwa mkahawa nikupeleke mm mm Now you'll have a better understanding of how that coffee came to be. Now see you in the next feature with absolutely so much more right here in Kenya's Gold. Mm -hmm.